Welcome to Electron Online and continuing with our understanding of geometry, now we're going to talk about rays. Now it's a simple concept here. A ray is kind of like a line that is chopped off on one end, so it has an end point and it goes infinitely far in the other direction. So here A, the point A represents the end point and B then represents the direction of the line. And so we have the ray indicator as AB with an arrow on top pointing to the right. Well, it doesn't have to be to the right per se. You, know, you can have a ray going from B to A in this direction. You still put the arrow to the right. That's the common way of writing it. So a ray is simply a line that has an end point and goes on indefinitely in any other direction. So here's three rays that are drawn. Here we have two rays that are drawn that have a common end point. And of course, two rays that have a common end point like this that are pointing in different directions form an angle. And we'll talk about that later. Here we have something that's interesting. When you think about it, this looks like the line AC goes infinitely in both directions. Or you can also think of it as being two rays that are in opposite directions. And therefore they're called opposite rays. So here we have the ray with endpoint B in the direction of A. So this is the, the ray BA indicated like this. We can also think of it as the ray BC as B being the endpoint and C being the direction in which the line is drawn or in this case the ray is drawn. So here we have a line AC or two rays that are in opposite directions. So therefore they're called opposite rays. It's as simple as that. And now you understand what rays are as well as lines and line segments. And that's how it's done.